shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby, I can't help. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back here with another GTA 5 online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get multiple mullet outfits using the transfer glitch after the latest patch 1.50. And also let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like these, because I haven't done um, a multiple mullet outfits video in quite a while. So yeah, you see on the screen here, these are four outfits you're going to be getting. So there's um, white joggers, or the white Goku joggers, the blue Goku joggers with visible body, the checkboard outfit, and this black joggers with the racing jersey and the gloves. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is make your way over to any clothes store and make sure you have the outfit on that you don't want to lose. So I'm going to be keeping this white Gorka Joggers outfit. And you want to make sure your, your location is on last location and you want to make your way to um, any clothes store. Then you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online and just go ahead to go over to swap character. So you will need to make sure you have your second character deleted because we will, we will be making a new character. So just make sure it's deleted otherwise it might mess up the glitch. So you just want to wait until you load into the swap character scene. Now you want to go ahead and edit the second character, make sure it's a female character, and then load into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys once I load into GTA Online. So now once you load into GTA Online, you need to go ahead and bring up your pause menu to check if there's any closed stores on the map. Because sometimes they're not, and as you can see, I don't have any closed stores on the map. So if this happens with you as well, you just want to go ahead and find a new session. But if it hasn't happened to you, just make your way over to any closed store. But yeah, if so, if this does happen to you, just find a new session, just like I do here. So then if that does happen to you, you just want to wait until you load back in, and you might spawn in a different location as well. So now you just want to go ahead and check again if you have any closed stores. So as you can see, I have closed stores this time. So now you just want to go ahead and take any vehicle, just rub a streetcar. And just make your way over to any closed store. I'm gonna make my way over to this Ponzo B is just right near to me. So you just wanna make your way over to any closed store. So now now once you're at a closed store, you wanna make sure you have no accessories on. But as you can see my outfit has no accessories, so sometimes you might have like some earrings on. But anyways, let's get into the first outfit. So the first thing you wanna do is make your way over to utility pants and buy the black battle pants, which should be number 37. I accidentally bought number 38, but you wanna make sure you buy number 37. So now once you've done that, you wanna make your way over to the top section. Now you want to scroll out to tank tops like I do here. So now once you're at tank tops, you want to go to number 61. So you just want to keep scrolling up because there's quite a lot. So you just want to keep scrolling until you find number 61. So I'm just about to pass it here. So now once you're at 61, you want to go to the Mokotorn short crop tank top. And you want to go ahead and purchase that. So now once you've purchased that, you want to make your way over to the accessory section. So now once you're at the accessory section, you want to go ahead and select it. Then you want to go down to the glove section. Then you want to go to number 43, which should be the white surgical gloves. So you want to go ahead and equip them. So now this is the first outfit done. So this is the, the, um, the first component outfit for the black joggers outfit I showed at the start. There will be one more outfit for this um, black joggers outfit. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So for the first part of the second outfit for the black joggers outfit, you want to go to the pants section. And then you want to go over to the sports pants. And equip the sport muscle pants, they should be number one on the sports pants section. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. Now you want to make your way over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you want to go down to sport jackets. So now once you're at sport jackets, you want to keep scrolling up until you're at number 99. So it shouldn't take a few, it shouldn't take a while because it's right near the top. So it should be the sea green puffer jacket, number 99. Just want to go ahead and purchase that. Now once you've purchased that, you want to back out and then you want to go down to the bustier section and you want to go down to number 17, which should be the white lace bustier. So you want to go ahead and buy that. So number 17 here, so you just want to go ahead and purchase that. So now once you've purchased that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. So now once you're at the shoe section, you want to go onto boots and you want to scroll down to number 21, which should be the Moss Tech boots. So you just want to go ahead and purchase them. So now once you've purchased them, you just want to back out the shoe section. Now you want to make your way back over to the accessory section. So now once you've made your way over to the accessory section, you want to go and select it, then go down to gloves. Then you want to scroll up to number four. 
which we're going to go ahead and purchase the light wooden tactical gloves which are number 4 so now once you equip these you can go ahead and save this outfit so this is the second component for the black jogger's outfit done you can just go ahead and save that underneath the red jersey outfit so now moving on to the second outfit so these are the two components you should have for the first red jersey outfit so now moving on to the second outfit this is the checkerboard outfit so you want to go over to the pants section and you want to go to jeans now once you're on the jeans section you want to go down to black cropped jeans which should be number 38 on the list so as you can see black cropped here you want to go ahead and purchase them now once you've purchased these jeans you want to go back over to the top section now once you're at the top section you want to go down to denim jackets now once you're at denim jackets you want to go to number 11 which should be the two-tone denim jacket so you just want to go ahead and purchase that so now you should already have it on but you want to go you want to make sure that you bought the white lace bustier as well for this outfit but you should already have it on from the previous outfit so now once you have both these tops on you want to make your way over to the shoe section so now once you're in the shoe section you want to go to high heel boots and you want to scroll down to number 24 which should be the deluxe midnight combat boots so you want to go ahead and purchase them so now once you've purchased them you want to back out and you want to bring up your interaction menu go to style accessories and you just want to go ahead and take off the gloves because you won't need them for this outfit so once you've taken off the gloves, you want to make your way over to the other side of the store, if you're at the same store as me. And you want to go over to the hat section. So this is for the checkerboard hat. If you don't want a checkerboard hat, because it is optional, you don't have to get the checkerboard hat. Checkerboard hat. But this is for the checkerboard hat. So you want to go to the canvas hat, it's number 78, which should be the grey plaid canvas hat. So that was for the checkerboard hat. So now I just want to go ahead and save this as like checkered or checkerboard, something like that, because it's a checkerboard outfit. So you only need one outfit for that, so on to the next outfit which is the trash vest with the white gawker joggers you want to go to the pants section and go to sports pants and equip sported muscle pants so now once you've equipped them you want to back out go over to the top section now once you're the top section you want to go to the denim jackets once again then you want to go to the, the distressed denim jacket which should be just two above the um, jacket you already have on so it should be two above the two-tone denim jacket now once you've equipped that you want to back out then you want to make your way over to the tuck t-shirt section so you just want to keep scrolling up until you find the tuck t-shirts so now once you find tuck t-shirts you're going to scroll down to number 11 which should be the black classic t-shirt so you just want you want to go ahead and purchase that now once you've purchased that you want to go ahead and take off the checkerboard hat because you won't need it for this outfit component now you can just go ahead and save the outfit so now that is the outfit done for the trash vest, that outfit only needed one component as well. So now for the invisible body outfit with the blue gorka joggers and the race gloves, this will need three, um, three component outfits. So just to clear it up here, the first two outfits are for the black joggers outfit, then the third one is for the checkerboard and the fourth one is for the trash vest. So for the first outfit for the invisible body gorka joggers outfit, you want to make your way over to the main desk, then you want to scroll down to the scuba outfits. Now once you're the scuba outfits, you want to scroll to number 20, which should be the bold red scuba jacket or the bold red scuba outfit sorry so now once you've equipped that you want to go to the light wooden gloves once again so you just want to go to the glove section and equip the light wooden tactical gloves so now once you've equipped them you can go ahead and save this as the first component outfit for the invisible body outfit so you can just name these outfits if you want if you want you can save these outfits as the names that i've um, saved them as but if you just want to name them as anything that's fine so now for the second outfit, you want to go to the spotted muscle pants, once again, which will be the first on the sports pants section. Now you want to go back over to the top section, and you want to go over to the tactical jackets. Now once you're at the tactical jackets, you want to go to number 79, which will be the very last, the khaki tactical blossom. So now once you equip that, you want to go over to the bikini section and equip number 27, which will be the black bikini. So now once you've equipped that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. I actually went the wrong way. I actually went the wrong way. You want to go over to the shoe section. So I want to check the shoe section. You want to go down to boots. Then you want to go down to number 52. So you just want to keep scrolling down until you find number 52. I just sped it up here because it did take quite a long time. So you want to find number 52. It should be the blue cowboy boots. So you just want to go ahead and purchase them. Now once you purchase them, you can go ahead and save this outfit. So this is the second component outfit for the Invisible Body Gorka outfit. So now once you save that um, for the third component, so the last outfit, this is for the cop belt to merge on. So if you don't want a cop belt, then just don't worry about making this outfit. 
But if you do, the first step you want to do is go down to work jackets. You want to go down to the peach camo field jacket, which should be number nine. So you just want to go ahead and purchase that. Now once you purchase that, you want to go over to tuck t-shirts once again. Now you want to scroll up until you find number 75, which will be the blue digital t-shirt. So you just want to go ahead and equip the blue digital t-shirt, which should be number five, number 75, sorry. So now once you've done that, you can go ahead and save the outfit. So these are all of the outfit components done. So this was, this was the last outfit. So you just want to go ahead and save this. Now you will be done for the all of the components. So I'll go ahead and explain like what components are for which outfit just to make it all clear. Make sure you guys understand which outfit is for which modded outfit. So yeah, I just want to go ahead and save that. I'm going to save that as belt. So for the first two, the red jersey and this number two there for the black joggers outfit. The checker is for the checkerboard outfit. The trash vest is for the trash vest outfit. And then the last three components are for the invisible body with the blue gorka joggers and the racing gloves. So now once you have all of them done, you're going to bring up the interaction menu and take the easy way out. So this is the start of the transfer glitch. So, that, so that, what this um, easy way out will do, this will force the game save to just like save all the component outfits. So now once you, um, once you spawn back in, you want to bring up the pause menu, go over to online and you want to go ahead and start creator. So now once you load into creator, you want to go down to create a race. You want to go ahead and select that, then you want to go ahead and select land race. So now once you've selected um, land race, it will show you all the race details. So you need to fill in the title and description, you can just put a bunch of random letters. Now for the photo, you can just take a runner photo of the sky. But now for the maximum players, you want to make sure that it's set to two players. And then the route type, point to point. And now just to speed it up, you can change this card to supercars. Then for the placement trigger, you want to go ahead and hover over select trigger location. Then you want to bring up your pause menu and then go ahead and warp over to the airport. So now you just want to wait until you spawn at the airport. Now you want to place the trigger just around where I do here. Now for the lobby camera it can just be another random photo. But now for the checkpoints you want to make sure they're roughly around the same as mine. They don't have to be the exact same, you just want to make sure the race length is around the same number as mine. So as you, as you can see mine is 0.74. You want to make sure yours is around like 0.72 to 0.78. So you want to make sure it's around that, so if it's like 0 0.73 or 0 0.77 that's fine, then you just want to go ahead and test the race. So now once you test the race you'll get this pop up on the screen, you want to go ahead and accept that, then bring up your pause menu, go to online, then select choose character. So now once you select choose character, you just want to wait until you load into this scene here. Now the next step you want to do is um, you want to go ahead and delete your female character by typing in delete. And then once you delete your female character, you want to back out into story mode. You want to make sure you don't select your male character, otherwise it will mess up the whole glitch and you have to do it again. So you want to make sure you back out into story mode. So I'll see you guys once I've loaded into story mode. So now once you've loaded into story mode, just like I have here, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, and then play GTA Online, and then start an invite only session. Or if you want to, you can go in the public lobby, but I just recommend an invite only session so you don't get like killed by random people during the during like loading in and stuff like that. And make sure you don't start like a close friend session because that has a chance of messing up the glitch. So I just recommend an invite only session. So now once you loaded in, if you did um, the last location just like me, you would spawn outside the closed door. So I just want to make sure you're in the closed door and then save the outfit you have on just to make sure you don't lose it. So then you should see all of the components at the top of your saved outfits. So you want to go ahead and save this outfit at the bottom just so it doesn't get in the way of all of the component outfits. So now to get the black joggers outfit, we're going to be doing the crocodile merge. And you want, you want to make your way over to the clothing, then you want to go to the nightmare tops. And then I just sped this up because it was quite a long, you need to keep scrolling until you find the t-shirt. So the e cola t-shirt. So you want to make sure it's number 63. You want to go ahead and buy the 63 black e cola hockey shirt. So once you bought that, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online jobs, play job, broxide create, and go down to verses, and you want to go and start Cookie Cop. Then when you start Cookie Cop, you want to make sure you change the clothing onto player owned. Then you can just go ahead and confirm the settings. Then you want to wait to get like, you want to get like a friend to join, or if you don't have a friend to join, then just wait for a random person to join. So as you can see, I've got my friend to join here. Then you just want to go ahead and start the mission, and then wait until you load into the mission. So now once you load into the mission, you want to press right and d-pad twice. So then you should see this modded alpha here with the black like, joggers merged and the racing gloves merged. And you just want to go ahead and ready up and then wait until you load into the cricket cop mission. 
So if you have a random person, it might take quite a while to load in because you might just not ready up. So now once you load in, you want to bring up the interaction menu, go to style, accessories and equip either a rebreather or an earpiece. Then you want to equip the job using your phone. It doesn't matter if it's a rebreather or an earpiece, you just want to make sure it's one of them. So now once you load it back into a session, you should spawn around this area here. So if you do, there might be a car spawns near you sometimes. If it does, just go get go, in, go and get in the car and make your way over to the front of the ammunition storage like I do here. Or if not, just make your way like running over to it just like I did here. So now once you've made your way to the ammunition store, you can go in and save the first outfit and then delete the two components for it. So you don't get in the way. And also for the second outfit, the checkerboard outfit, you don't actually have to merge anything. You already have the checkerboard outfit, as you guys can see here. So you just want to go ahead and select it and then just save it at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of the other modern outfits. So then just delete the component for it as well. So now once you've done that, you want to go back over to the outfit section and you want to go down to Gorka suits. And once you're at Gorka suits, you want to go to number 3 and equip the Ash Gorka suit. So this will be for the trash vest outfit. So now you just want to go ahead and start Cricket Cop again. So you want to go down to Versus and go to Cricket Cop. And now once you start it once again, you need to make sure the, play, um, the clothing is on player owned. So you just want to scroll down to clothing and put it on player owned. And you'll confirm settings and then wait for a friend to join or a random person to join again. So once you've got a random person to join, you want to press run a d-pad once and you should see this outfit here with the trash vest, the white t-shirt and the gorka joggers. Now you just want to go ahead and ready, ready up and then wait till you load into the cookie cup mission. So now once you load into the mission, you want to go ahead and bring up the interaction menu, go to the style, accessories and look up a rebreather on earpiece once again. Then just quit a job by using your phone. So now you want to wait until you load back in the GTA Online and you will probably spawn at the same location again, just behind the ammunition store. So then you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the front of the ammunition store once again. So just by running or if there's the car that spawns near you, just go ahead and get in the car. So now you can go ahead and save the outfit, so this is the third outfit done. You just want to go ahead and save at the bottom above all the other outfits. So now you want to go ahead and delete the component as well. So now once you delete the component, you want to make your way over to the outfit section again. Go to Gorka suits, not Gorka suits, sorry. You want to go to the biker suits. Then you want to go to the blue biker suit. So this will be merging the blue and white biker gloves. Now you want to bring up your pause menu and you want to go down to verses and start quick hop once again. So this is actually the final outfit to merge. Then after this you will be done with all the outfits. So you just want to wait until you load into quick hop. Change the clothing to player owned. And just confirm settings. So then once you confirm settings, you want to invite your friend again or to wait for another random person to join. I just got my friend to join again. Then you want to start the mission and just wait till you load in. So now once you load in, you want to press right and the D-pad three times. So if you do one, you'll see this outfit. Then the second, you'll see the invisible body. Then for the third outfit, you'll see the cop belt merge onto the outfit. So now once you've done that, once you see the outfit, you want to go ahead and ready up and then wait until you load into the cricket cop mission once again. So now once you load in, you want to bring up your interaction menu again, go to style, accessories and equip the rebreather again, or an earpiece. And once you've equipped that, you want to bring up your phone and then just quit the job by using your phone. So now you just want to wait a couple of seconds again until you load back into GTA Online Lobby, it should only take a couple of seconds. Then once again, you want to run back to the front of the store, so it should take a few seconds. But, but usually you do spawn with the car, so if you spawn with the car, just go ahead and take the car. Then you can go ahead and save this last outfit, then you can go ahead and delete the components for the outfit. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do like these outfits, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like. And also comment down below if you want to see some more multiple bullet outfit videos. And also subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my content. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, it's been your boy Perks, and peace.